What's up guys, Sal here. So last week we got confirmation that the Galaxy Note is coming back after one missing this year. But this time it's coming back in the form of Galaxy S22 Ultra. Samsung is merging the S and Note lineup together to bring the best features from both the lineups into a single unified premium handset from the company. Now there's confusion as to what exactly Samsung is gonna call this unified handset. Last week we heard that it's gonna be called the Galaxy Note 22 Ultra, but apparently that's not gonna happen. Ice Universe confirms that the handset will be named the Galaxy S22 Ultra. He didn't mention why they're going with this name, but it's fairly easy to guess why. It's to do with the marketing as the name Note doesn't really fit in the S22 series. But to be honest, what's in the name? They can call it whatever. We are getting the Note back with a boxy design and built-in S Pen, and that's a win for the Note fans. Anyway, OnLeaks has given some updates regarding the back camera of the S22 Ultra with this image confirming Ice Universe's claim that there are indeed two design prototypes of the S22 Ultra at the moment, and nobody apart from Samsung knows which is the final design. We even have case renders and even they have no idea about the final camera design as the cutout in the case makes both the camera designs possible. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Moving on, South Korean media reports that Samsung has set the initial production goals for the S22 lineup and the company thinks that the vanilla S22 is going to be the most popular among the three devices. In fact, S22 accounts for half of the series production total. Samsung has set a shipment goal of up to 60% for the S22, 20% for the S22 Plus and 20-30% for the S22 Ultra. In total, Samsung is making 20 million S22 devices combined in the initial run, which is conservative when compared to the usual figure of 25 to 30 million units. And the main reason for that is the chip shortage issue, which is still affecting major companies. With that said, back in April, we had a rumor that Samsung is collaborating with Japanese camera maker Olympus for the Galaxy S22's camera. Olympus, as you know, is a leading Japanese manufacturer of high-quality cameras and optical technology. It was rumored that Samsung would use the sensor shift camera stabilization from Olympus in the S22's camera for better image stabilization. But turns out this collaboration is not happening as Olympus denied that they are working with Samsung. To be honest, this shouldn't be a big deal because Apple already uses sensor shift stabilization on their Pro models. And there's absolutely no advantage of this sensor over the conventional optical image stabilization according to various camera comparison videos. So yeah, not a big deal in my opinion. And finally about the S21 FE, it looks like Samsung has cancelled the unpacked event for the handset according to various rumors from South Korea. But that doesn't mean the phone is cancelled altogether. Apparently, it's still expected to go into mass production, which means they are gonna sell the phone to consumers, but not in the same quantity they expected a few months ago. And to be honest, with the S22 being launched in about 3 months, it doesn't really make sense to buy the S21 FE at this point because the S22 is gonna be a better handset in almost every department. Of course, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.